Okay. <gasps> Ooh! Hello, it's Buildy's Bizarro Bedtime. Hello. Uh, I'm Maddie, or Madeleine Swan, and this is my husband, Bill. Hello. And together we form the Buildy <laughs> storytelling weird creature. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Okay, so I suppose I will begin. You so, always begin. It's, yeah, it's, it's a the, thing it's that thing. we do. Um, who, who is this character? Who is it? Um, it's a man. Okay, and what is the man's name? His name is Gary. Gary, okay. Yeah. What's Gary like? Gary is slight. He's a very slight man. Okay. Um, he's in mid-30s. Hmm. Um, and he's... Do you need more? But I'd rather have a personality thing. Okay, you know. yeah, yeah, personality thing is... He's, he's, extre- he's so cheerful... Yeah. ...that it annoys people. <laughs> okay. He's so happy all the time. Okay, yeah. All right? See, that's that's good. It takes for you to grapple with it. Yeah. Okay, so Gary's... Sink your teeth into that. That's right. Yeah. Gary's favourite book. <laughs> Gary's favourite book was Alice in Wonderland. Of course and it was. <laughs> he <laughs> he loved it as a kid. He's read it many many times, yeah. and now he's got a very boring job of uh, what's a boring job? An accountant. An accountant. Yeah, yeah. He's, a state agent accountant. A state agent is maybe a, a bit more. I don't know. Yeah, that's the the dealery. Yeah, is. I think an accountant is probably. Yeah, that's yeah. You're right. Yeah, thing. that's more hitting boring on on the head, isn't yes. it? Like, I mean, not necessarily. I don't want to. No, no, obviously, it probably isn't if, boring. No, but, but it's just a job like it's any other. The stereotype. Yes. What people think boring, they think accountant. Exactly. Yeah. So he's an accountant, and one night he decides that he's going to reread Alice in Wonderland. But before he gets out of bed to go and get the book because he's in bed he's about to go to, trying to go to sleep yeah um a hole appears in his wall yep and mm. this old man sticks his head out of the hole in the wall right and says oh this isn't the place i was after right oh dear what a shame i will have to go back okay. in and to the so, hole in the wall yeah so Gary thinks wow now's my chance yeah uh, he puts his rabbit slippers on yeah oh. and his yeah and oh. his dressing gown yeah and he runs after this old man that's just looked out of the hole in the wall in the wall and he's running after him and it it becomes this tunnel that's going yeah that's sort of sloping down right yeah and he thinks oh my god I'm going down a, a real you know rabbit hole to Wonderland I was going to say kind of foreshadowing there yeah the, exactly with the um, Alice in Wonderland yes yeah see and uh, he so he's following and then he thinks but that doesn't really look like a rabbit mm. it kind of looks like a guy in a normal suit yeah so but no, he's got rabbit know. slippers on yeah, but Gar- Gary's got rabbit, rabbit slippers, slippers on. on. Yeah. This this guy that he's following, yeah, he so, doesn't. So he's more than rabbit himself, isn't he? Uh, well, maybe I don't know. We'll no, see. Yeah. Yes, I mean yes. Sorry, okay, that's right. So. <laughs> <laughs> no, okay, so he thinks, but that he really doesn't look like a rabbit. And then he thinks, uh-huh. are we just going to keep running, or am I going to start falling, or I don't know if that's actually a good thing because I might hurt myself and and then so why does he think he should look like a rabbit is it just because he's been reading <laughs> Alice in Wonderland and he's got rabbit slippers on and he's running through the wall well, that he thinks this old man should have turned into <laughs> a rabbit by now <laughs> <laughs> well logically What's... logically he'd think oh I would expect that to be a rabbit but he why? isn't <laughs> Why did he expect him to be a rabbit? He was an old man. Because he... Because he didn't read in Alice in Wonderland. <laughs> yeah. Is he just that You'd obsessed think. with it that every every old man he sees, he thinks at some point, if I follow him long enough, and it's on a downward trajectory, he's going to turn into a rabbit. Every time he gets in a lift, 
<laughs> with one of the older people yeah. from the phone. When, he, when anyone comes out. He'll, like, he'll just stay in the lift and watch the old man. Watch him just... suspiciously. Thinking... <laughs> yeah. Um, some big ears are going to pop out of your head in a minute. Yeah, I've got my eye on you. I know you've got a fluffy tail. Okay. Okay, so he doesn't look like a rabbit, though. It's just an old man. (laughs) And then, beneath his feet, the dirt tunnel that he's running running down turns into an escalator. And they're just going down this escalator. Yeah. And he thinks... This isn't, you know, this is very different to what I was expecting. But Gary is very cheerful and he will absolutely spin anything into a positive. So he really doesn't want to let go of his Wonderland dream. So he just says, so the guy doesn't look like a rabbit. He might have rabbity qualities okay, or you know yeah, yeah. I'm sure, you, you know it doesn't matter doesn't I'm sure matter. it's fine so they land in this other world so it's turned into escalators yeah and then they reach the bottom yeah and they're outside it's yeah. like a big field you know yeah. lots of trees and stuff yeah. And the old man said, oh, you're here. Those files need doing desperately. Yeah. And uh, Gary's like, what files? And the old man said, come on, we've got to get them to um, middle management. Yeah. They've got, they were supposed to be there an hour ago. Yeah. He's holding this uh, big wadge of papers. Yeah. And he's like, Could you take hold of them, i better go. And just runs off into the bushes. Yeah. And Gary's left with it. He looks at the papers and it's just all like, you know, um, memos and yeah. uh, me- meeting uh, numbers. And no, yeah, schedules and what's the, what's the, minutes. Mi- you know, minutes, yeah. Things like yeah, that. Yeah, yeah. So he's kind of thinking... Mm, this isn't quite the wonderland that I pictured, but no, never mind. I'm sure this will still be fun. Really happy all the time. Yeah, so, he, he's determined that this yeah. is going to be how he imagined it. This is yeah. So he goes along his his way, he follows a dirt path, and uh, eventually he comes across a big table. And sitting at the table is a lady, a, an old lady, and she's sipping. And at the other end of the table is uh, a bloke, another bloke. He's got like a big grey beard. So he yeah. goes over to the table and they're pouring tea and they're saying, Oh, do you want to join us yes. for our tea? And he's like, he oh my God. Yeah. yeah, this is what I've always dreamed. Yeah. So he sits sits down with them and then says, oh, I've got to get these two middle management. And she said, oh, yes. I've been on hold to them for many, many weeks. <laughs> and then the man says, yes, and I've also been scheduled in for a meeting with your boss for the last seven months. Right. And he's like, oh, who are you? And, and they say, we're waiting to get a mortgage, you know. Right. And then they both, like, sip tea really oddly. Yeah. And uh, they pour him a cup, and the cup's got a hole in it, so it just, like pieces out everywhere yeah you know? yeah yeah and and they say oh excuse us we're mad right yeah and then he's so like, it's like the okay. equivalent of the mad hatter yeah yeah and then they start talking to him about uh you know they start talking to him about schedules and how many times they've been on hold and how they'd been on hold the previous time they'd rung up for 74 years. Oh, and they'd finally been and called And this is for... all the, the man that he followed. He's yeah. the boss. This is all down to him. No, and no. His... He's just some no. guy who's trying to get stuff to middle management. Right. Like all these bits of paper and that. Right. Okay. Yeah. So, eventually, Gary says, sod this for a game of soldiers. Yeah. This is the most boring wonderland i've ever yeah experienced it's, it's basically all wrapped up in bureaucracy and, yeah, and, yeah. and paperwork and yeah and then um the rabbit man turns up and says well that's a bit of a shame because this is your new job bye oh no and he's <laughs> stuck there yeah but then he can go home in the evening so it's fine and he oh, gets okay. paid like loads and And he doesn't really have to do anything you know as a job all he's got to do is run around with bits of paper in his hand 
and just pretending that he's sorting stuff out. Yeah, and just say, "Oh, I'd better pop off to uh, fill in C section four. And, and then back to his room through the hole in the wall up the escalator. Yeah, and just hang out, you know. That's not bad, is he it? Gets paid, so he's paid so what cash does he care? or wire transfer or um, PayPal. PayPal. Yeah. Okay, yeah, that's not bad, yeah. Okay, yeah. and how about you? How about me? Um, okay, let's come up with some... <laughs> what you character have we got? <laughs> You're a bit stuck, aren't you? I don't think you've got one. No, I can do one. Okay. Well, I'm going to try and do one. It might be completely awful. Well, we'll see. Yeah. I'm if, sure this will be If there isn't fun. one after yeah. this, it's yeah. because it was so bad we decided to cut it out. <laughs> <laughs> so or what? it's so bad we left it in. <laughs> okay, so, so who, who is it? Okay, so my character is a lady called Lindy Jefferson. Yeah, Lindy Jefferson. What's she like? She's a bit of a jet setter. She jet setter. Okay, likes to go to fashionable parties and. Stands around with a cigarette in her hand and says, "Oh yes, I've been there many times." So she's she's okay. What's her name again? Lindsay. Lindy. Lindy. Jefferson. Lindy Jefferson. Yeah. Okay, so Lindy Jefferson wakes up one morning, (laughs) and she goes to a wardrobe, and she gets out a bright blue dress. Okay. (laughs) And she puts on a jetpack okay yeah yeah and she opens up the hatch she's got like a domed um ceiling ceiling roof. Yeah, yeah roof and it's got a little circle in the middle and she presses a button yeah it opens up mm. and she puts on her jetpack because she's a jet setter oh my and she God. flies through the ceiling yeah and goes to a party that she knows is um, on the other side of the world. Okay, yeah. But it takes her so long to get there mm. because she's only got a jetpack that by the time she gets there, she's incredibly cold. Oh, no. Yeah? Yeah. And she's only put a blue dress on. She wasn't wearing a coat. Yeah. Who does that remind you of? Uh, I don't know what you mean. I've got coats. I wear coats. <laughs> you wear coats, yeah, but sometimes you tell, do you? And, Yes, I always do. Okay. It was hot in the bar. <laughs> <I don't know laughs> yeah, yeah, exactly. <laughs> so she she gets to the other side of the world in Australia, and she soon warms up because it's Australia, it's very yeah. hot. Mm-hmm. And there's this huge party, and her eyes are wide with the delight as she mm-hmm. arrives. Yeah. Um, the prince of Tunisia is there, mm. who. Um, greets her and says, "Oh, it's you. It's Lindy, Lindy Jefferson. It's Lindy Jefferson mm. from London. Yes. Um, why don't you join us? We're all playing hopscotch. Oh, wonderful! And um, so they're playing hopscotch. Yeah. And when they get to the end, yeah, it lands on the number eleven. Mm. Right. Mm-hmm. But that means." Mm that um, the cake comes out. Right. And um, everyone's got to eat cake. Okay. Obviously. Yeah. Um, and <laughs> all the press turn up. Yeah. And um, take photos. There's a huge story about everyone eating cake. Prince mm-hmm. of Tunisia, um, Lindy Jefferson... And the husband back in London of Lindsay Jefferson, Lindy Jefferson, Lindy Jefferson yeah. um, calls her up and says, look, I've seen a picture of you yeah. landing on number 11 playing hopscotch yeah. and eating cake with the Prince of Tunisia. What's going on? <laughs> yeah. And she says, well, you, I'm just jet-packed over to the party. Yeah. And um, it's completely innocent. Mm-hmm. Um, so does that mean something different in their world? Um, no, he's just very jealous. Okay, he particularly is jealous of the number eleven. Well, I see what you mean. Yeah, it does. It does actually mean something a bit different. If you okay. land hopscotch, is a flirtatious thing. <laughs> okay. Yeah. Yeah. It's renowned for it. It's yeah. renowned for it here. Mm. Um, 
But it was innocent. Yeah. But you, you can't. But you know, they'd all had a few drinks. Yeah. And one thing led to another. One thing led to another, and she gets home, and the husband is like, um, "We need to talk," and she's like, "Look, it's, if you if you don't trust me." Mm-hmm. it's not going to work <laughs> and he says but we've true. been married for yeah. 740 years <laughs> why now why why today of all days and she <laughs> says because it's my birthday yeah and he says oh I for- he forgot he, well there you go he forgot there you go. she wanted to go and do something for her birthday yeah so they, they're, they're just about to make up and t- but then when she walks off to have a bath yeah. What does he see? But a Tunisian prince hair. <laughs> God. On her back. Right. And from then on he knows what really happened. Right. But he he kind of pushes it down in his mind. Yeah. And for a little while. And then he goes in and has it out of her again. Yeah. But it turns out it wasn't. Yeah. It's because they got a new dog for a birthday. <laughs> yeah. It's the dog's hair. Yeah. And so they all just fall about laughing <laughs> in the bath. In the bath? In the bath, because he joins off in right, the bath. Right, okay. Thanks. And they're falling about laughing. <laughs> <laughs> and that's just a typical day in the life of the jet-setting fun and frivolities. Frivolities. The fun and frivolities of Linda Jefferson... And a frivolous jet setting lifestyle <laughs> with her husband Clancy Beaumart. That's it sounds very exhausting and quite a roller coaster. Well it um, was her birthday. So yeah. I mean most I mean, days are a bit like that. If played. every day, you know, was a, a series of um events of, you know, arguments over jealousy culminating yeah. in, you know, in a bad argument, then I think I'd find that quite stressful. Well, so would I, but see, the, these sorts of people, this, this, these two, yes, they they do that every day. It's like a cycle thing. Blimey. So it's just nothing. Do you know what I mean? To them, it's yeah. nothing. Oh, that sounds. Oh, I don't think I'd like you know, that. No, I wouldn't like that. It'd be horrible. No. Okay. Well, that's Buildy's Bizarro bedtime, oh, yes. and we shall see you next time. Goodbye. Goodbye.